To some people, this might seem completely unrealistic, as the idea of fighting four kings and not getting hit seems impossible in and of itself. Then stack without rolling and still have one on top of that and it seems downright silly. But stick around for this guide and you'll see you can do it with just a bit of trial and error. First off, it's important to know the equipment you want to bring. 9 times out of 10 at soul level 1 you want to get the blacksmith giant hammer by killing the giant blacksmith in inner Londo. Now that that's dealt with, you're ready to deal the most damage possible against 4 kings. Before I discuss the easier attacks, I actually want to discuss the problematic attacks. Because trust me, there are an abundance of easy ones. The hardest attack is a horizontal swing. You move to the space directly behind Forking. You also need to attack or you'll get hit for some reason. I don't know why, I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. Next up is everyone's favorite attack, the magic disc. You can avoid this attack by simply keeping your camera on the disc and not letting it leave your sight. It's a given that you will miss some punishments due to the sheer persistence of this attack. But in my personal opinion, that's more than a worthy trade-off. And that's it. Those are the difficult attacks. You unironically just walk left for the rest of the attacks. This attack isn't challenging, but it's definitely noteworthy as its response is unique and the proper way to dodge it is not immediately obvious. For this attack, you were supposed to run behind the four kings so that he doesn't attack you as you re-engage him after the AoE. But even with that tip, you might find yourself in a scenario where you're far away from the four kings and need to run towards him, such as the very beginning of the fight. You will need to bait out one of his attacks, but this is far from being a tall order. Run in and then run away if he uses an attack you can't strafe. The real difficulty of this fight is if you manage to let multiple kings spawn at once. As long as you hit four kings twice after most of his attacks, you should be fine. Now, the final noteworthy attack that he has is just the grab attack. But all you need to do is run behind him and he just misses. He whiffs, like he just loses track of you. With all these tips, you're more than ready to try four kings without rolling. In the description, I link things such as safe states and more that will make this challenge more digestible. Like and subscribe, and if you're interested, I have a video explaining how to do the prompt swap glitch, which grants you infinite souls.